Hello, stream. Welcome to episode four of uh, Dark Heresy with a partially set up green screen. It's not fully there yet, so uh, excuse any issues with it. Uh, I don't have all the parts yet. But uh, uh, they're going to be getting into some stuff today. Four. So let's jump in. Leave Clover. Shut her up. <laughs> All right, so I'll go over what happened last time. Basically, Craig was sick, so his memory's a little fuzzy. Um, you cool. guys went to uh, Three Stakes Rest, and you met Zax Hawthorne. Um, you saw that he had some minions there. He, uh, he he had like 12 guys with him. You talked with him, and you convinced him that you guys were pretty much, uh, you know, the real deal, and the whole burning down a noble manor really did help your case, actually. Um, mm -hmm. So he told you that in the morning, I believe, this isn't me, like, trying to trick you. Th I think I said the, the shuttle would arrive at 9 a.m. Um, yeah, I believe that's what you said. Uh, I believe it was 9 a.m. Yeah, and uh, he, he said that uh, he doesn't know exactly what it is, but he believes it's a very valuable item, just like he sold to Lands Gaul Jane, uh, which is the orb that uh, you guys have and ha has been torturing one of you. Um, so you guys left th with the knowledge that something big was coming in probably tomorrow at 9 a.m. Thanks for hosting Subnet. Hey, Cellphobia. Um, and I believe that's all that happened. I don't think anything happened when you guys went to bed, if I remember right. No. But, uh, so, uh, Lucius the Tinker has the, uh, basically the same dream. Uh, the orb is floating there, and it tells him, you know, He's arriving. Give me to him. It, it just repeats that. It doesn't answer anything you try to get out of it. And uh, unlike before, you guys are actually woken up fairly early, at like let's say 5 a.m. ish, by a beeping noise in the uh, vault you're staying in. We are woken up by beeping. All right. Uh, and you notice that it, the beeping is coming from the uh, tablet you've been communicating to the uh, Inquisitor with. Uh, usually when you have a message, it just flashes green. This time it's flashing red and beeping. That can't be a good sign. I'm going to answer that. I'm going yeah. well, to look at it. Okay. You uh, pick it up and it does have a message on it. It says, uh, you know, important. Uh, artifact uh, identified. Uh, need to get it away from all you and off world uh, I have sent an unmanned shuttlecraft uh, to Port Geyer it will be there around 7 a.m. place the orb into the shuttlecraft and just leave it there it will take it to deep space and blast it and that's all it says all right. it, it, it gives you the uh, the terminal the platform um, What's a good name for a platform? The platform will be called... Um, Phobia. Phobia 7. Yeah, that's good. All right. Uh, yeah, she's, it says that there's an unmanned shuttle at fo platform Phobia 7. Uh, place the orb on it. It will be taken to the space and destroyed. I'm the only one that can read this right now? Uh, yes. Okay. I'm just going gonna, gonna to look at uh, the tech priest. I'm going to say, pick that thing up, bring it with. <laughs> Zephobia, right. didn't I name something after you before? I'm, I'm just, I thought I did. I don't think you did. Didn't I? Okay, well, yeah, that, that's named after Zephobia now, then. <laughs> Phobia 7. Yep. La Turret Burglar. Okay, so uh, what did you do? I missed it. I, I told, uh, I... Okay, so everybody knows the message. Uh, as usual, once you've read the message, uh, a few minutes later, the message is erased from the tablet, and it's blank again. I just, 
I don't want to use the word commanded, but uh... that <laughs> sounds like it sounds about as close to an order with. I mean, yeah, it does, but there's no other way to word it. I read the message; it disappeared. I know what has to be done to fucking blow that thing up. So, I'm like, let's grab that thing. We gotta go. Message from Inquisitor says, "Grab that, let's go." Now, I, you do know one thing though about void ports, uh, and it's true on Desolium too. They do have a checkpoint to get in, so you're somehow going to have to get by that checkpoint without arousing suspicion. Hmm. You've got two hours to get to that shuttle. All right. So, It'll take you about a half hour to get to the checkpoint and a half hour to get to the shuttle after the checkpoint because it's a crowded point. Is the checkpoint going to go boop, boop, boop whenever we fucking get in? Uh, you know the checkpoints are mainly established to make sure that uh, people are not like... Uh, Smuggling items. Well, they're not really for that. They're more for the uh, nobles to make sure nobody's breaking um, their oath. So they basically ch they they basically check people to see who they are. Uh, do they have an oath? If it's fulfilled, they can go. If it requires them to go off world, they can go. If the oath, if they're trying to sneak up and break in their oath to a noble, though, they are going to get like arrested or worse. All right. So you, do you, I have? Do you guys we do not have any kind of oath token or nothing? No, because you're not really from this place. Right, we get, I got you. Do we have communications with um, underworld guys? Like comms. Do we have basically their, their comms information to contact them? <laughs> um, I, uh, we'll, we'll say that they did give you a way to contact them via a text, or, or not a text message, but like a encoded yeah. message. Um through like the the warhammer equivalent of a burner phone so okay okay well then we should have casey contact him and ask way to get in and out of customs okay do they have a guy on the inside such and such things like that yeah that seems like a reasonable thing to do okay um you uh you don't have to roll or nothing to send this. This is a simple encoded message that you already know where to send it. So, uh, you send a message basically asking for how do I get past the checkpoint to the meeting. You're not obviously telling them about the other one. Oh, no, um, absolutely not. And you do get a message about twenty minutes later saying, uh, one of our guys. There's uh, there's service tunnels underneath the entire void port, and uh, he says one of our guys will meet you uh, a little bit out of the checkpoint to take you through a safe uh, service tunnel. Okay. Uh, he says uh, he, he sends you coordinates to the checkpoint area that he's going to send them to. He sends you uh, a code name for him. The code name can be uh, subnet. All right. Okay. All right. Let's well, so we go. All right. Um, so who's carrying you? the orb? Um. Tech priest. I'll go ahead and carry the orb, but I'll keep it. Um, let's see if we can find like a. Is there any containers that we can put this orb in or something like that? We've got curtains. Clearly you have the cur You have the curtains. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what else you got. If you have anything in your inventory you think you could use, yeah. But you Is do there have anything the in a room that we can use? It's a, it's a storage vault. They, they come with a terminal, and that's about it. Okay. Well, fuck it. We'll just use the curtains, and um, we'll put, like, a I guess like a pole or a stick through it, and wayward our asses. To okay. With that. All right. Um, you guys head towards uh, Port Geyer. Uh, you do uh, get pretty close to a checkpoint. You can see people going through it. And uh, you do see a guy come up to you and he says, uh, Are you the guys? Subnet. Okay, yeah, you're the guys. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. 
<laughs> that wasn't suspicious at all. Well, you knew the code word. I. Well, yeah, but if anything else, if anyone else may have been fucking listening, they have they hear this guy come up and say, "Are you the guys?" And he just says, "Stop that!" <laughs> of uh, like, the port, it, even at this early hour, the port's fairly busy and noisy. Like nobody would have made uh, the conversation unless he like really screamed it. Okay, well, he may just, have. It is know. glad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was, um, I was lurking in someone's stream and then I hit the mute button. That's what that was. <laughs> okay. All right, so he uh, takes you down into these tunnels. Uh, th some of them call them uh, loading tunnels or maintenance tunnels. Uh, they run around the entirety of the underneath of uh, the void port. Uh, they are usually like uh, guarded or there's maintenance people in them. But this guy seems to know a way around him, and uh, he says, uh, "I'll also uh, I'll be your contact for the uh, the uh, shuttle arrival. Um, what we're gonna do is uh, the shuttle will arrive. Uh, you can go inside, check the goods out, uh, come outside, and we can negotiate a price. Um, don't worry though. Uh, the guy in the uh, landing terminal uh, office there, he." Uh, he cuts us some slack. That shuttle isn't going to show up on any records. Nice. And uh, he I continues to lead you through it. it. Uh, he doesn't talk a ton. He just basically, he, he's sticking to business. Yeah. And uh, you eventually do emerge from the tunnels. And uh, he says, uh, well, you're inside. Uh, the shuttle arrives in about, uh, we'll say, you guys woke up at 5, the the one you're taking the orb to leaves at 7. Uh, we'll say it's about 6.30. Uh, he says uh, uh, the shuttle arrives in about uh, two and a half hours. Uh, I'll meet you guys at the uh, pad. Uh, you remember the pad name? No, I do not remember the pad name. He says it's uh, Tortoise 9. Tortoise 9. T-O-R-T-I-U-S. <laughs> Tortoise. This Warhammer stuff so hard to pronounce. Tortoise Nine. Got he it. Said, and uh, he says, uh, I'll meet you there. And he wanders off. All right. Um, let's go ahead and head over and drop this orb to the um, other pad launch area. Phobia okay. 7? Yeah, Phobia 7. All right. Uh, you guys uh, managed to find a uh, map. This is a very big spaceport. Most of these void ports are. Um, and you see that uh, you can easily make it to this pad in the amount of time you have, which is roughly a half hour. Uh, so you, after 20 minutes of walking uh, through a bunch of crowds, uh, you do uh, see the uh, Phobia 7 terminal. It, um, it's fairly, uh, it's, it's a lot emptier than the other parts, mainly because, uh, I mean, there's one shuttle on it, so it's not like anybody's going to the pad. Um, the... Uh, it's unguarded. Um, the shuttle door is shut. It does have a uh, finger pad on it, though. What can we see in terms of security in the area? Uh, you've seen a couple um, security officers walking around, uh, but there's none, like, guarding the uh, shuttle pad. I mean, there's just too many incoming and outgoing traffic for them to guard them all. Um, are there any are there any markings on the shuttle? Actually, no, there are none. Okay. Um, it reminds you a lot of the shuttle that uh, you guys were dropped off off by uh, Ensign Smalls. Uh, the Inquisitor shuttles don't seem to have markings on them. Well, that's okay. probably it. Let's go ahead and dump this thing and get 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 the hell out of here. All right. Press um, my, uh, I'm gonna said, press my finger to the thingy. Okay. You said you. I hang on. You said it was mostly empty. Can we notice anyone skulking around? Uh, uh, there's plenty of skulkers around, but none of them seem to be paying too much attention to the uh, fairly plain-looking shuttle. I don't know how to phrase it. Like, there's really not much to the shuttle that anybody would expect anything out of it. Okay. It's like it's like a shuttle in Star Trek. It's it's very like military, bland, and empty. Okay. And, and and ubiquitous is yeah nobody okay. nobody cares about this thing it's not a yacht all right um 
I'll go on and throw this in. You guys stay out here and make sure no one comes up. All right, yeah, when he put his hand to the uh, pad, it did uh, beep and open. Um, and uh, there's a the, – the thing is empty. Uh, there appears to be what looks like a uh, chest in the middle of the room. Uh, it's open, and it does have a uh, lock – on it, uh, it's not locked, obviously, but it has a lock for locking. All right, so I'll go on the shuttle, and I'll dump the uh, curtain and ball inside of the chest and they'll lock it up. Oh, uh, you're not going to keep the curtain? No, fuck that <laughs> curtain. <It's tainted. laughs> All right, fuck you dump curtain. the whole thing in, shut the chest, and lock it up. Uh, nothing nothing really happens after you do that, except you got a locked chest in there now. All right, let's launch this motherfucker or do what we got to do to get rid of this thing. I don't think we have to manually launch it. I think. It's a she. They said be there by seven, so you assume this thing's gonna take off in a few minutes. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's go and um. Love series. Ready. Thanks for hosting. Let's um, go and do the other thing. All right, uh, you guys walk out of the shuttle. Um, does anybody touch the pad to close the door? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the door does close. Um, are you guys just leaving? You're gonna wait to see if it takes off. I'd, I'd like to confirm that it takes off. I will start heading over to... Fuck, I'll stay here until the explosion happens if I have to. <laughs> I'm going to start heading over to the other the other launching pad while they go ahead and do that. All right, you start walking over to uh, Tertius 9. Um, I'm going to give him a finger while he walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him later on. <laughs> you don't have eyes in the back of your head, bitch. You can't see. Um... So the two of you do uh, wait till about 7 a.m. And uh, you do see the shuttle fire up. And it takes off and it departs the planet. All right. Great. Job done. <laughs> yes, uh, you all uh, successfully uh, solved the shuttle puzzle. <laughs> Fantastic! <laughs> Woo, that was hard. It was like four pieces. So okay, so you guys got about two hours until your uh, probably so bad I'm artifact gonna, shuttle. I'm gonna search for heretics. Okay. So our our inquisitor never sent any instructions or anything regarding the second potential artifact. Correct. No. In fact. Yeah. I would think that our inqui- uh, we maybe just fucked up. Wait, why? <sighs> so well, here's 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 what I'm thinking. Here's the deal. I sent information regarding the location of the well, first of all, the the bad guys, okay? Yeah. Right. Secondly, sent sent uh, information regarding the orb that we acquired, the artifact. Yep. Right. Okay. Then, and I get said information about where we were meeting the bad guys. That is right. True. To get the okay. next. Right. All mission pertinent information. Uh -huh. All I got back was put this fucking item on a show. Wait. Also, I was told you were never to touch it again, but I made you do it, so whatever. Um. Yeah, that's a thing that happened. Um, better you than me. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there, were, there were curtains in the way. He's fine. Yeah, what? The, the curtains shall protect you. They're the Emperor's <laughs> curtains. Uh, Emperor's nothing... Curtain. Lucius does not have any visions or nothing so far uh, since the dream he had again. Nothing has happened. Which none of us know about because he hasn't told he us hasn't yet. Told us. Uh, yeah, right. I'm not trying to get... Turn to keep it to keep it in character. Fuck you. Yeah, you're about to get lit on fire. Keep you talking. Set me on fire while I sleep. Keep, keep talking. You about to get lit on fire. Uh, which but, only um, your, only I will say, your Lucius, fire. as that shuttle departs the uh, planet, uh, you feel you didn't feel sick or anything, but you do feel better. That's good. Except maybe not, because it said it would release you if you gave it to him. Well, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. Just saying, out of, out of character, you f we everybody I, fucked what? up. No, 
Fuck you. Out of character, it was you're the one that who did all the and gave it to the wrong person. I like that was able to get you guys I didn't to argue. Know about your character's condition because you didn't share it with us. My condition doesn't matter. You gave false, you gave actual information to a supposedly person who might not be the inquisitor that we needed to. And you're technically the team leader, so we you're the one that fucked up there, Pyro. Oh, am I the team leader now? Now you want to fucking take orders? I was, I shit. was never, I mean, I've always took an order. <laughs> <laughs> you're the team leader. This son you of a bitch. Up. Well, so so here's so so here's 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 where we are. Mm -hmm. Either so we may have given this to the either, wrong. Either these instructions were really from the Inquisitor and were on the right track. There's no her. reason. Yeah, there's no reason for me to believe. Oh shit. Okay. So I'm back. Then... All right. There's no reason for me, to, my character, to believe that these in, these instructions are not from our Inquisitor. We checked the data pad, right? That we got. It There's no reason for us to believe, legit. as a group, that it wasn't legit. What do you mean, as Correct. a group? You're the only one who's been using the data pad. You and no, you I, checked I it. I looked at it, too, and you checked it. I did not check that data you pad. Definitely you definitely did. 100%. I, I did not check that data pad. Craig, can you uh, weigh in on this? I, uh, when you guys first got the pad, you did check it, but all you really figured out was that it was a secure thing, and it didn't really have anything else on it aside from the ability to send and receive exactly you did that i did not do that no i don't remember which one of you checked it but that's what you I discovered who opened the package box confident because... the fucking tech priest who's, no i'm the god of tech things and you the could not tell where where it's like sending this either so the tech priest did none of that the so either, priest... either everything's legit or we got fooled which means that we're probably just dead as a group, we got. There's fucked. no we. It's I don't nobody's think fault. French. It's nobody's fault because inquisitors have resources that we do not currently have in our possession. Yeah. Or yeah. you know maybe we shouldn't follow the guy whose first instinct is to set shit on fire. I'm just saying. <laughs> but also has leadership skills that can boost your abilities. Not much of a leader if you got us all killed. I mean. So we're gonna say about change. an hour and a half has passed. As strong as his weakest link there. Tech there was a priest. good enough. There was a good chance that we were all gonna die doing this anyway. That's fair enough. Yeah, that's fair yeah. enough. And we Please agree on that. The, the 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 people before us all got murdered. So so let's just con this let's knowing. just continue. There's a possibility. Okay. Anyway, so, so we I'm set over. this thing up. This thing is gone. Right. Yeah. We shouldn't worry about it anymore. Fuck it. I so, feel better. Nothing happens, and about an hour and a half passes, and the shuttle is about a half hour out now. If you guys want to head to the pad or do something else, I'm already call. head to the pad. So yeah, you're you're um, you're sitting on a chair on a so bench. These, um, these these pads. Mm -hmm. What is what is the layout? Um, the landing pad for uh, well, there's different size landing pads. The these ones are like shuttle sized. Um, they're about a, a hexagon with stairs going up to them. Uh, they're kind of uh, out a bit from like e each pad has like an office where the person controls like the or you know it's the flight control like you know br bring it on in pads clear. Uh, you're tilting a bit to the right they, that type of are stuff. Are they like are they like open air? Yeah, okay. They're open air. You so, guys see sh you guys see ships coming in and out all as you walk through this place. Basically, there's pads everywhere. So our Casey and Casey and I, mm -hmm. our characters, we're still together. The other dude, the Lucius, is sitting on a bench at uh, Tertius Nine. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I feel like it I'm might gonna be talk to Casey yeah. privately. I feel like it might behoove us if um, if I take a vantage point um, up above, maybe okay. up on the roof. Um, you could go on the roof of the uh, like flight control building. Um, there, there are higher areas uh, if you could sneak up, but. There's a lot of people around, and if you ever played Assassin's Creed, anytime you climb something, everybody's like, what are you doing? They might see yeah. you. Right. Like, I don't need to get too high. I just need to get somewhere where I can get a scope on the relevant areas of our uh, of our 
of our pad here. You think you could probably get on top of like the uh, flight control building? It's it's not a super tall building. Like they're they're, I would say they're about thirteen uh, ish feet high shacks. Just they're, they're not like there's so many of them. They're not like uh, they're mass produced. Okay, cool. Yeah, I want to. I want to get up on top of one of those. They all have uh, like one way glass in them, so you can't see inside them, but they can see out. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna head up on top of the one okay. for our pad, so that I can get a good look. All right, so um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I, You're I able to get behind the building and climb up it without anybody really okay. seeing you fairly am easily. I, and, I'm, and I'm not super visible up on top of there, right? As long as you're, like, laying prone, nah. I'm, I'm laying prone, my rifle is out, and I'm just kind of scanning the area. Yeah, you should be all right. Sounds good. Uh, that leaves uh, Lucius and um, Elrosh downstairs. And I'm in I'm in contact with them through the uh, through communicator. The... Yeah, yeah. And uh, the uh, the guy that was helping you, the codename uh, Subnet, uh, he's also there with uh, El Rosh and uh, <clears throat> Lucius. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says uh, this shuttle is going to be here very shortly. Um, Fantastic. Um, El Rosh. Arioch? <laughs> Arioch. Sorry. It's you know, you know what? It's becoming it's slowly but surely becoming this quirk <laughs> that is endearing. Um, I hope so, because otherwise you guys would want to kill me. <laughs> yeah. Um He says, uh I'm gonna I'm gonna head inside the flight control office to make sure everything's good. Uh you guys just have a seat. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm not going to do that, though. <laughs> okay. He he goes inside and shuts the door, and uh, you're left by yourself out there. Okay. You too. I'm going to look around for is there a restroom by. <laughs> yeah, there's restrooms. Yeah, I'm going to go in there. Okay. I'm, I'm, excuse there's... me for a second, uh, Lucius. I'm just going to I'm going to pop into the loo just real quick. I got a you know number two. <laughs> yeah. TMI. Fair enough. I'm gonna go in there. <laughs> Try not to kill nobody while you're on your way there. Because uh, restrooms have very solid walls and are very protected. <laughs> just, yeah. just in case. Yeah. Sure. Try not okay. to blow anything up this time. Mm -hmm. uh, as yeah, you go in sure. there, um, a few minutes, a minute or two passes, and uh, Lucius and uh, Hikari start to see the shuttle uh, start to what looks like head towards the pad um is it is it facing is like the the front towards it is you? front facing the shot the pad yeah it's coming in okay i'm gonna very slowly like aim my scope upwards to try to take a look into the cockpit and see if there's anything suspicious okay. um the cockpit is its own room it's it's sealed so you can't see like the the room behind it or nothing, but uh, you see one guy in there. Uh, he is driving in. He's pushing and push you buttons. Uh, you don't recognize him or nothing. He just seems to be a pilot guy. Um, I'm gonna kind of talk into the little headsets that we have and ask um, and ask uh, Hikari if he if she has any type of info. You know, what does she see? I mean, I'm just telling her. I'm just gonna get on. I'm just gonna get on and say. I I say. I think I see our contact. All right. Keep an eye out on everything around us. All right. Uh, the shuttle continues its de its descent. Uh, you think it'll take a, a few minutes to get on. Um, you do notice that uh, your uh, subnet contact has not come back out, and neither has uh, Stabsy's named character that I'm scared pooping. to say now. He's pooping. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I reach into my pocket and just ready one of my smoke grenades, just okay. in case. Um, I guess while I was doing that, I'm just gonna keep my uh, keep my gear and my two hand cannons and everything like that at ready. Okay. Um, 
It's at this point you notice the shuttle lurch. And uh, Hikari, as you're looking in there, you see something. You, you cannot exactly see what it is because uh, so much happens at once. Uh, you see just something like break through the back room behind the pilot. And uh, then all you see basically is the glass is covered in blood. Not good. Um, and the shuttle continues its descent towards the pad, and as far as you know now, nobody's driving. Um, um, I'm gonna get on the con. I'm gonna get on the uh, the earpiece and uh, inform him that it looks like the shuttle is about to crash. So you may not want to be <laughs> all of a sudden done and not done pooping at the same time. <laughs> 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 um, I'm going to stand up and start backing while, and I'm gonna pull both my hand cannons out and just kind of like keep an eye on the shuttle, but also like make a strategic back. Okay. Um, the shuttle continues its descent and it eventually crashes into the pad and it slides along the pad and kind of turns, and it does come to a stop with the back of the shuttle facing you. And uh, it's at this point that the door to the office opens, and uh, it's not exactly who you expected, because out walks the Inquisitor. Our Inquisitor or the other? Your Inquisitor, Inquisitor S. So, okay, fair enough. And, you, okay. and as she opens the door, you, you hear someone screaming inside, and she shuts the door, and she says, uh, Arm yourselves, Acolytes. This, this actually was a trap for you. Okay. I've been tracking this shuttle f for a few days now, and when we found out it was coming here, I wanted to be here before it landed. I did not I'm expect the run into you guys, though. I'm gonna kick my fucking. I'm gonna kick the door to the stall open. Rev up my fucking chain axe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm and come going out of the to bathroom. Ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go DRC uh, and bathroom. I'm gonna. I'm gonna aim okay. at the back of the shuttle. All right, as you guys all prepare, we'll take, a, I guess, a quick bathroom break since he's running to the bathroom. Pee potty poop time. I just <laughs> did that, though, in, in character. Pooping, 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 pooping. Oh, shit, it's Cthulhu, isn't it? I'll be right yep. back to All of a sudden, you hear HP Lovecraft come on the comms and be like, here you go, and Cthulhu pops up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Cthulhu has landed. H.P. Lovecraft comes on the comms and screams something about Jewish people. Yeah, I was going to say, you need to be a lot <laughs> more racist if you're going to be H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> be wise as Jews! <laughs> <laughs> they have slandered! We are kaput! <laughs> he wrote some good stories, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, the good point got me. Wein, wein, sein, and push it down the ice. I should change it to Desolium there. There we go. Not that it matters. It's just a back room. RBR Act Two. All right. Yeah, we got uh, a bit of time. Short. Bathroom break. Hello, uh, viewers out there, quiet people, uh, people watching the shadows. A few of you have talked. <laughs> We've got uh, stuff happening, and I don't think they have realized yet how bad they're in <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to put their characters down here. Pindles, lurk, lurk, lurk. Yep, that sounds about right. You are like one of the king lurkers. <laughs> see, did I miss anything? Let's see here. Got my uh, notes. 
handwritten notes because we are way <laughs> off of the book pretty much. <laughs> uh, the book has a lot of this in it, but I have pretty much usurped it at this point. Like, obviously, the Inquisitor doesn't show up in the book. The Inquisitor's not mentioned in the book because you can do whatever you want with the Inquisitor. Okay, no, I didn't miss anything. Ag, sticking with the book is boring. You want to go off book. I, I still like to stick to the main story, but I like to do it my own way. Besides, if they all have the player's guide, they could just read this. <laughs> so. Well. <laughs> well, hmm. Uh, everyone's gone. Oh, I didn't leave. I was just in uh, stream only chat mode there. Ah, uh, okay. Unlike some people, I made sure to use the bathroom before we started. I see. Ugh. I can't wait to shoot this shit. You don't even know what it is. Don't care. I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> Something already beat you to the pilot. Well, the pilot was friendly. Assuming. Well, no, probably wasn't. <laughs> right before he died, he flipped you off. What an asshole. <laughs> when I find his potty, I'm shooting it. You don't know how he knew you were there, but somehow he knew enough to flip you off. Somehow. Somehow he knew. All right. Oh my god. All right. So we're getting rid of these two songs. All right. I'm back. Hooray! All right. We're almost back then. Yeah. And for the record, I didn't have a chance to go to the bathroom because I was rushing home, Casey. <laughs> I know, I'm just... <laughs> and I'm having a bad case of whatever the fuck I eat. You were having a bad case of drinking home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys, drinking home. Yeah. All that brick, all that brick. Ugh. <sighs> I kind of like that you guys have no idea what's on the shuttle. Nope. I do not know. I mean, it made someone explode into a fountain of blood. But that could be a lot of things in Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. All right. Where'd it go, man? It took forever. Motherfucker. <laughs> All right, so you guys just witnessed this shuttle crash, and yeah. your Inquisitor is here. Well, I felt it. I'm still technically in the bathroom. You could hear her um, over your comm units. It seemed that she uh, joined them whenever she revealed herself. Now the All moment right. she said, the moment when she said there was a trap, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have like this look of like, oh That's shit, I have an trap. idea type look on my face. And even though she's talking, I'm totally just gonna like, not hear it and move over to, um, a, another part of the area and start trying to start laying to make a trap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm dressing to impress currently. 
Uh, you guys hear this really loud bang in the back of the shuttle's, uh, the, the, basically the back loading door of the shuttle buckles a little, and you can see that it looks like it, it it's being attacked. Um, I'm going to look up and realize that I really don't probably need to hurry this up. So <laughs> what I want to do is is that I want to take some of the frag grenades and okay. put them under... Um, I'm going to take my frag grenades and put them under like three different seats. So one under each seat. Okay. And um, then I'm going to... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, no, go ahead. finish... Well, oh, the, so yeah, so I'm gonna open the fragments on each of the seats, and I'm gonna have them connected to a metal wire, and I'm gonna lean the seats forward and put, um, yeah, I'm gonna lean the seats forward, and then okay. just back out a little bit. All right, uh, the Inquisitor. Down? The Inquisitor looks at you guys, and she says, uh, "I don't suppose you acolytes have any idea what's actually on the shuttle." Um, well, artifact. I have no idea what's on the shuttle, but I do know it is. I get to shoot shit, so I'm happy. Uh, the door bangs again and buckles a little more, and she says, that's not an artifact. Well, it was <laughs> supposed to be expensive and an artifact. Uh, do you know anything about Phobia 7? Wait a minute, are you out the bathroom? I am now because I'm dressed. Okay. <laughs> so She says, uh, whatever Phobia 7 is, we'll talk afterwards. And, Fuck. Uh, and uh, she says, uh, I don't know what exactly is going to come out of here, but I just know that it's incredibly dangerous, and we've been trying to track this shuttle for two days. Okay, well, there's another shuttle you should be tracking right now. Focus on this one first. Uh, <laughs> the door bangs again, but this time it actually gives and crashes to the ground, and you see this just gargantuan guy step out and he kind of looks similar to this i couldn't find an exact picture he is right. floating uh and uh this is a warhammer thing that i'm not sure how to say but i'm gonna say it anyway the inquisitor uh says oh great a daemon host yeah daemon uh, can you move that picture down a little bit down yeah move it down a little bit oh that's perfect I'm going to look at that and go, oh, wow. Looks like he's from the same family that Pyro's from. Well, no. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious. Do you guys know what a Damon host is in this world? No. Uh, can I use my pure ecclesiarchy? Uh, not pure ecclesiarchy. I can use um, Imperial Creed lore. Okay. Uh, yeah, just make a... I don't know if it's not... Demon. It's not Imperial. It'd probably be, um... <laughs> honestly... I don't know. I, I, it would probably be Forbidden Lore. Let me see. Uh, one, of my street, one of my followers says, It's heresy. Kill it. A biovirus that destroys the entire planet. Uh, more or less, kind of. It's really kind of a possessed uh, mortal unit that has been taken over by a demon. Yeah, he's been... I can't say that in character because I don't know if I have forbidden... Right, or... he's basically done a ritual that bound it to him. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Um... And they're really <laughs> powerful. <laughs> Effects... This thing also just, like, roared at you when it saw you. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna. Put, I'm gonna calmly say. I wonder if he beats himself like Pyro too. Probably does, but in a very different way. All right. So I guess the. I'm not gonna start. put you guys into combat yet. I'm just gonna let you like freeform this. What you want to do? Not yet. No, no. Freeform what you want to do. If you want to attack it, attack it. Um. Well, what? Let's see. What? What are our options here? Um, I'm going to ask Akari, does she have a clean shot? Uh, this yeah. thing's out in the open. So, so that, your answer would yes, probably be... Yes. I, have, I have a very clean shot. However, um, do we have any option of getting away? Do we want to get away? I mean, do we care about what happens to this world? 
I also also apparently also apparently those guys set us up, so you know. It this they destroyed a piece of machinery. I do not care at this point. It has to die. <laughs> This thing is also, it's covered think, in blood. I think that as a Red Redemptionist, I have the innate ability just to identify heresy when I see it. Oh, <laughs> uh, this thing is definitely without a question. I, I, I'm pretty sure like a five-year-old in this world would be able to point at it and say this is heresy. <laughs> well, then I'm going to point at it and say, burn the heretic! Um, I'm going to try to look around. Right, so I'm going to look in the area around. Is there anything near it that can possibly, I don't know, explode? Uh, the It did come out of the shuttle, but the shuttle is not like what you would think of being like ready to explode. It's just a crashed hunk of metal right now. Other than that, there's really nothing on that landing pad. Ah, uh, shit. Um, well, it's too far away. What's the distance it is from us? Oh, uh, let's say it's uh, let's say right now it's about fifty to sixty feet away. It's pretty far. All right, it, you so guys were not on the shuttle pad; you were on the outskirts. I'm gonna look at the Inquisitor and say, uh, "You care to help with this party?" She says, "Well, I, I'm here. Yes, I'm here to deal with these." It's Great. I'm glad, I'm glad you decided to join. No, us. you guys. No, you guys do it. I'm yeah, she's just gonna sit yeah. down on the bench. Bye. Um, I'm taking the next show out. Audi. Okay. You know, so she's actually going to do something real, real fast here. Uh, you see her reach down to her holster and pull out what looks like a stick. But as she pulls the stick out, she kind of like, um, it, it kind of expands and you recognize this is like an old school like uh, bow. But you also don't, I don't know how familiar your characters would be with that type of like uh, technology, like is it, old school is it bows. Heresy? No. Um, I would probably know about it. Can I roll to see uh, if I if I can figure it out? Yeah, if you've got uh, lore for it, go for it. I have lore for... What lore do I have? Hold on. Um, this would probably fall under common lore. It's not forbidden lore. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have lore somewhere. Let's see. Advancements? No... I could have sworn Sage's King with the lore. And uh, Chad, know, if you're curious about the Inquisitor though. stats, there they are. Well, it's a heretic. I have. We're, uh, we're engaging, I'm guessing. So. Well, that, she's um, about to do something, yeah. But I was going to let him I, roll to see if he knew right, what that weapon was. Uh, replace the. Okay, so yeah, so what, what should I roll? Uh, do you have a common lore? I don't see it. Like, I, I have. I see lore, but I don't see... Oh, my lore is uh, Common Apodis Mechanicus. That would work. Roll that. That'll be my intelligence. So I will roll my intelligence. And no modifier? No, no, no. I'm not going to modify it. Whatever you're God thinking. damn it. Modifier nope, is. you don't know what it is. You, you, know, know, you know this is like a uh, old school weapon, but you don't exactly know about it. But you do know that it takes ammo and you don't see any ammo. But okay. uh, so she she goes and she pulls back on the bow, and you see this like energy string appear, and also this energy arrow appear in the center, and oh, she yes. f fires it directly at the uh, Damon host. And well, uh, tch -tch -tch. if we weren't fighting it before, now we are. Yep. I'm while she's firing while she's doing that. I'm gonna look over to Eros and tell him, "You're up. Go run up to it." And then oh. I'm gonna. I'm going to ask Hirkari to cover him for the shot, and I'm going to be right behind him. I can enter Frenzy as a free action. Okay, she does hit. So when this bow hits, it, when this arrow hits this Damon host, it actually kind of explodes a bit. All right. Um, and, yeah. but uh, as far as the Damon host goes, let's see. Um, yeah, he shrugs that off. It doesn't do anything to him. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna tell Herox to go ahead and rush it. I'm gonna be right behind him. I would imagine we're probably at the point where we should roll initiative. Right. Yeah, we should roll where we're gonna be. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My fault. All right. Um, let me clear this. All right, you guys all have tokens this time. Uh, Lucius did not have a token, so I just gave him that. 
Bon Air. So yeah, just click whichever token is your character. Yeah, uh, and uh, you should be able to roll initiative this time. It shouldn't give you an air. Sorry, roll initiative. Why well, just click on agility for that or no? Uh, there's none. Is there an initiative one? I don't think so. There is right next to fate points. Oh yeah. So do we roll agility or one die ten? Uh, click agil agility. It is a 1d10. Uh, you do want to roll the... So the user roll command looking for a value of a select of, with no tokens are selected. Yeah, you got to pick your token down there. It's, uh, so this... it would, essentially, um, it would be 1d10 plus your agility bonus. Yeah. How do you pick a token? Uh, I gave you one since you didn't have one already. Yeah, just um, scroll down and just click the character picture. I it's it's the uh, guy with the earpiece thing. Well, then click the character right, I'm clicking that. So you click that, and then you click agility on your character sheet. For yeah, initiative. I'm clicking that, and nothing's happened. We'll uh, okay. Let me see if I can... There we go. All right, got... I got it now. I got it now. All right, so I click that, and then I just click agility. Yep. Um, three. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Would you roll a one? <laughs> uh, yep, a one. Well, fuck it. All right, well, uh, Hikari does get to go first. <laughs> yep. That I do. Well, let's roll the hit. Uh, we're gonna be using these uh, these man stopper bullets because uh, seems seems pretty worth uh, seems pretty worthwhile. Since I'm already in position, we're taking a full aim. Okay. And you said how how far away? Uh, where you were it was about fifty feet. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. I just need to. Check something real quick. <clears throat> if you couldn't gather from my role there, he doesn't seem to be very agility based. In the book, does it talk about what distances are which range? Uh, I think that's... It might be my discretion. Um, well, there isn't a range. Is there a distance? Uh, what's the choices again? Didn't you end up with a telescopic site that negated distance? Um, so... It negated the penalty for long range or extreme range. Okay. Okay, this is long range. What? This is this is long range. We'll call it that. So you don't have okay. a penalty. So I so I, I, I get to count it as a standard range shot. Right. Okay. And a standard fire. And one of my talents did a thing here. Jiggle the handle, turn the knob. Yeah, yeah, yeah shut up. Engage mm -hmm. rotor, rotate sixty-three degrees. Yeah, you know all that, all that. Tickle the key holder. Uh, go Twiddle the nipple. One thirty-one. <laughs> Part the Red Sea. Yes. Okay, here we go. Nope. Jesus. Whiff. I'm pretty sure that was a... Yeah. Um, your shot actually hits the shuttle. Not, it doesn't do anything, but you hit the shuttle. Pink. 
correct. the shuttle could talk, it would say, haven't I been through enough? Yeah. <laughs> if the shuttle could talk. The shuttle could talk, they would come back in a robotic voice. Please correct your trajectory. All right, that brings us to our flame error. Well, chainsaw acts right now, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. But you're also like 50 meters away. <laughs> but I can, I can charge without right. penalty. Mm -hmm. I'm in frenzy. Okay. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to charge the guy. All right, you charge up to him. Which gives me a plus 20 bonus. I feel like this is going to end poorly. It always <laughs> does. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. What did I do? Oh, I mean, I hit him, but what did, that that went really... That's, yeah, that's the that's, right skill. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that was one degree success. Yeah. So I charged, and I get two attacks, because I hit him. Mm-hmm. Pop, 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 with this... Oh, you know what though? Hold on. Let me let me actually. Hey, uh, I just sent you a um a picture. That's what my technically my tech priest is gonna look like. So you can use that as my token. Charge plus twenty. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hold on. I didn't actually do the right thing. There it is. Okay. Uh that's uh like Four degree, five degrees of success. Oh no, I did the wrong thing. Damage is eleven times two. Okay. You do, do actually. Do I get any crit? Do I get any crit for five degrees or no? Uh, degrees of success. Are based on your weapon. If it doesn't say anything, I don't think anything happens. But mm, it's a chain axe. So let me look. You did a little bit of damage to him, though. Yeah. Um, chain axe, chain blade, or one of the smallest chain whip, and a knife with a tiny chain around it. There's. Uh, chain act. Where are you at? Okay. Well, oh, that's chain blade. While the chain sword can be wielded with finesse, the chain axe is more simple damage affair. The added leverage of the long haft allows the wide chain to make for a heavier strike with each blow. But with less control or precision, the most wield the chain axe for just reasons and savor the terror and destruction that they cause. This is a two handed melee weapon. Okay. That doesn't tell me anything in terms of success rates. Nope. Let's go back. Go back. It's tearing damage. 1d10 plus 4 rend. Special, we'll see what finish. Doesn't tell me anything. Not in the core rule book, anyway. Not version two. Uh, let's see. Shit. Huh. What? You need to add your minus 23. It's a 23, not a 33. What are you talking because about? Because hatred heretics. 
Oh, okay. Is this is this a heretic or is it? It is absolutely a fucking heretic. It's not a Xenos. It's not a witch. It's a heretic. All right. All right. Um, let's see. That brings us to uh, that's. Is that the end of your turn? I mean, yeah, I guess, unless there was some other damage, critical damage I did, but I guess not, since you're not saying anything, so. No, 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 uh, nothing that I know of happened. Uh, so the Inquisitor's going to attack him again. Uh, since you're up on him, she actually puts her bow away, and she pulls out her uh, pistol. Um, she does move up in the range of him, which is about, she moves about 20 meters. So she's going to take an aim. Uh, it's a standard range. It's a standard fire. She misses. She misses. Does she uh, hit me? No, she didn't <laughs> miss that badly. Uh, she does also hit the shuttle, though. Um... So that ends her turn, and that brings us to the uh, Damon host, who um, actually just roars and bolts, and he goes, he rips the floor up, and he goes down into the tunnel. Well then, and, how far uh, away did he move? Uh, he has a pretty good run so he he got under there uh you don't you would have you would have to like really charge to get to him but he 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 did bolt underneath to the uh maintenance tunnels and he's now in the maintenance tunnels well that can't be good you do hear a roar echo from up in the tunnel Hey, now, quick question. This ship, what kind of ship was it? The one that kind of crashed down a little bit? Uh, the ship? Uh, it does have a, a name to it. It's a 341 Beta Sky. Um, it's, it's just ba a basic shuttle. I don't have the actual... Well, I might... It's an Arvis lighter. Did it have any weapons on or anything? Um, oh, yeah, it, it looks like it has like a. I think it has like a basic laser weapon, but other than that, nothing. Hmm. And uh, as he crawls in the tunnel, the Inquisitor just goes, "Well, that's great." Um, I guess I'll look at the Inquisitor and say, "Well, your orders. Should we go down there after it, or what?" Well, I mean, he's still within, you said, potentially within charging distance. Oh, yeah, but you'd have to also guess which tunnel he's in. This I'm is standing it, right in front of him. I would have watched it just happen. Yeah, but I mean, it's a, it's a maze under there. So it's I maintenance tunnels. It goes everywhere. Stops. It's like Jeffrey's tubes. I don't know where Jeffrey's tubes is, but I don't like it already. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> um, she okay. said, uh, as you uh, start to go towards the tunnel, the Inquisitor actually stops you and says, uh, don't, we need to regroup and figure this out. Something uh, is going on. Why is he here is a big question. Who would bring uh, a Daemon host to the planet? At your point, I mean, at this point, your guess is good as mine. Well, let me ask you a question, Miss S. If I can call you, is it Miss or Mrs.? Oh, I'm not married. Oh, fair enough. Miss S. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send us a data pad to, you know, confer with you our investigation information? I'm going to glare at him and go, really? Right now? This is what you just Right now, this about? is kind of important, being that we just sent one. Fucking artifact off world. We kind of have a demon host. We kind of have a demon host. Fair enough. It's gone now, though. Do you want um, to run down there and track it? Go ahead. Be my guest. Jump she says, 
she says, uh, hold on a second. Let's go into this, uh, this office. I can make it so it's secure, and then we can debrief in there. Are we talking about the same office where I just heard screams coming from? You want me to go into that office? She says, oh, that was the guy that was trying to get you to go in the shuttle to die. Um, I pulled that information out of him. He's not happy. I pulled that information out of him. Don't worry about him. Once he has his, inf once we have enough information out of him, uh, I'll stop the screaming. Ooh. Well then, could we not though? Just out of curiosity. You know, that's fine. Let's go in the office. What's the worst that can happen? She puts a bullet in all of her heads for failing. <laughs> um. I'm, I'm, going ahead, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab my frag grenades and in, go. Uh, in so your defense, I, she missed all her shots. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stay outside and I'm gonna set up an Overwatch. Okay. I will go in the office with them just to make sure that whatever. So basically, from um, how many how many exits were there into the tunnels that? He, that there were there. Uh, the tunnels run along the entire void port. Um, they're basically like tubes that a human could uh, almost fully stand in. Uh, you'd have to crouch sure, a bit. I mean, I mean, like, how many, like, how are the entrances to those tunnels arranged? Uh, well, uh, there's the entrances are uh, not like they're, they're not everywhere. Like. The ground you're walking on for this uh, is basically a grate, so you can see like the tubing for the tunnels going underneath. Um, there are entrances every now and again, about as often as you'd find like uh, let's say a uh, a sore entrance on Earth. Okay, so basically, I'm setting an Overwatch from the 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 actual main entrance into that. Um, into that bay mm -hmm. um, over to like a couple of the entrances to the service tunnel. It's okay. kind of like a 45 degree angle. Okay. And my condition for firing will be any sentient being entering the area. Okay. I forgot to mention this port is pretty much closed off. Uh, this is a private port that obviously they use to smuggle. Right, which is why, which is why setting up an Overwatch means that I'm probably only going to kill people who are going to cause right. problems. Right. All right. So the rest of you go into this room with the uh, Inquisitor, and you do see a person uh, on the ground moaning. It is the uh, the guy who helped you uh, through the tunnels and was uh, was your contact. Uh, he's missing a leg at the point this point in time. Can I can I give him a like a uh, can I can I say something to him? Uh sure. And you actually do notice that the leg is now now that you're inside, you notice it's kind of behind the door. That's fine. Is it stopping the door from closing? I'll move it out. No. If that's okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> can I pick it up? Yeah. I want to I want to shake the missing leg at him. Okay. I just really like, lucky this is all you're fucking missing. Because if I get my hands on you, oh boy. Um, he. Hold on a second. Let me, uh. Why don't I do something for that? Let's see here. Um. You want to roll for shaking his dead, his missing leg? I'm going to make him roll a fear check. So, for a fear check, he just has to roll his, uh, willpower. With a modifier of, we'll say, negative 10. I mean, he's missing a leg, so... <laughs> yeah. How do... Oh, well, it was impossible. Yeah, you've, you've completely destroyed him. He is Apparently terrified. He's pretty terrified. Yep. Wait, that, that, that's a successful... It's 36 over... That is, that is... Yeah, he failed that check. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah. Uh, that was there was no way yeah. he was passing that check. Yeah, that's what the I'm saying. modifier was too strong. <laughs> he shat himself. Pretty much. <laughs> so um, uh, he it's he he kind of crawls right. away from you and a groans. Stench emanates from the uh, uh, from his <laughs> behind into the office. 
So if he's already terrified right now, whatever, mm-hmm. then I kind of just walk past him and kind of just put like a bullet in his other leg. Yeah, make an attack. Make an attack roll. A bullet, a bullet in the leg is not going to kill him. It might. Make an attack roll plus. Uh, give yourself. A, you don't know how many hit points he has left. <laughs> give yourself a plus thirty because he's not really moving. A leg. Right. I guess. But yeah, right, if you. So we're, we're because this, officially, this office has become a most uncomfortable space to be in. <laughs> All right, so we're in the office. So now I guess I uh, lean on the, on the wall and ask to tell the ask the inquisitor. So what's going on? She uh, holds a finger up, and you see her pull a device out of uh, I still, her, I still her have back. The leg in my hand, as I just kind of use it almost like a laser pointer. Oh! <laughs> she pulls a device oh, out of her uh, backpack. Oh, okay. Never mind. And uh, she Don't puts not, it on the table my, and turns it on. My combat roll should have been a short range instead of standard range. Because oh, okay. he was less than half of the range of my weapon away. Oh, okay. One of my streamers just told me that I need to get myself a... a I servo still would have missed, but... I need to get what? a servo harness. A servo harness? You probably need mechadendrites, too. <laughs> I have mechadendrites. Do you? What do they do? I have... Well, I have mechadendrite use. Oh, utility. yeah. But you don't actually have them. No, I do have the oils, but that's about it. Okay. okay. So um, the Inquisitor puts this object on a table and turns it on, and she says, okay, now it's safe for us to talk. Wait, wait, wait. Craig, 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 you have, uh, where are you at, buddy? Because we haven't been able to hear you for a while. Um, yeah, I noticed I had that on. Uh, so you guys went in, and she put a device on the table and turned it on and says, now we can talk. Okay. So I, I don't d- have dudes You didn't miss anything. I'm grabbing it by the ankle, and I'm kind of just waving this fucking leg, and I'm guessing partly, like, attached knee around so it's flopping on the end. <laughs> okay. Uh, so <laughs> she she uh, looks at you and says, uh, ignore the moron for now. Let's deal with the other issues first before we get to him. Um, okay. Right. So what happened with Lansgo Jane? Um... I cleansed this entire house. Well, when I say entire, I mean... Did he have an artifact? He did. 100%. Which we thought you knew. Okay, also, let me let me catch you up. Because apparently, some things have transpired that you're not necessarily privy to. And this is uh, a most uh, alarming um, a thing. Mm-hmm. So, we came to planet, right? We're here. We uh-huh. landed. We made some. We made contact with the ecclesiarchy, who you would think, yeah, first person to go to when you have possible needs for things, because powerful and also super abo- loving the emperor guy, which we all do. I do certainly. But listen, um, <laughs> not so good. Not so much. Uh, hmm. Apparently, they were in league with the other inquisitor. Because we got a tablet that said, use this to communicate with me, which we thought was you, okay? To update on mission status. That was not you, because I'm guessing you didn't send a tablet. Uh, I told you guys when you first set out that only communicate with me if absolutely necessary, which I would assume also meant that I wasn't going to contact you unless I showed up like this for the record ma'am it was all his idea i'm gonna slap it can i slap him with the leg <laughs> uh, i'm not gonna make you roll for it if you really want to oh yeah i'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with the fucking disembodied leg okay Basic roll. really not go- i'm gonna just, I'm, it's just I'm gonna, gonna be a slap like like across the face no Consider i'm gonna like grab the leg when it comes over towards you can't me. you can't why can i grab the leg because your agility is garbage that doesn't Dude, you're swinging a fucking dead leg. You're not swinging a fucking acrobatic baton. <laughs> yeah, but you had to dodge. You can't. <laughs> you ain't hitting me with that leg. If you I'm hit me with that gonna, leg, I'm going to put I'm a bullet swing in your face. It. Here, here's what we'll do. I'll swing it in his direction, and the blood will come out of the end of the leg and hit him. You swing that leg at me, I'm going to put a bullet in your face. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I'll burn she, him for him. She says, hold, hold up. 
you were in contact with somebody claiming to be me. Mm-hmm. And what happened? At, like, what did you tell them and what happened? Okay. So we met with, after after the Lands Gujang Mansion incident, where uh, he was crazy from the artifact, made him uh, tear his own eyes out, and I burned him as as a heretic, as one would. Sure, that's um, fine. Mm-hmm. Then, to quarantine the incident, I eliminated his entire estate, or so I thought, um, at the time. So, okay. Uh, following up on that, <laughs> we met with some unsavory characters that we met uh, at a place where he acquired the artifact and went back to their base of operations which I thought I sent you coordinates to and expected an orbital bombardment, but when that didn't happen, I had suspicions. So um, we negotiated with their leader of, of the Babyface gang that we would acquire an additional artifact in, 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 you know, in, in addition to the one we already had. After relaying this information to who I thought was you, we set up this little meeting here that where, where the Damon host came to being. And uh, we, we put the artifact on a shuttle that left. Thanks for the host. It's gone. As far as I know. It's an uh, orb. So she says, uh, so the artifact was an orb orb and you put it on a shuttle and you don't know where it went. I have no idea. Uh, she uh, kind of does that thing where she strokes her chin for a minute thinking and uh, after a minute she says that's probably both bad and good. Bad because you gave the orb to unknown parties. Good because you got it away from a Damon host. If he had gotten his hands on that we'd probably all be dead right now. Okay. Hey, um, can I say something, uh, please? Of course, you are one of my acolytes. So, please. I'm gonna guess no. that, and something I didn't say anything before because I'm pretty sure that, um, I was pretty sure if I would have said it, I don't trust Irosh. He probably would have tried to set me on fire in my sleep. How hard is it pronounced my name? It's Air E Ock. So, um, Air E Cock. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna so rub my chain. I didn't say anything to him because he's unhinged and he has his whole heart on for heresy. So when I originally got the orb, it I had a dream that said that he will come and when he does, I have to give him the orb. So I was pretty much sure that I was gonna get rid of this orb because I felt like that was probably a bad idea. And I put it on the spaceship and sent it out that Airy Cock told me to do. Okay. So. Um, is that a critical? <laughs> are, you, are you really going to attack? I mean, <laughs> like, but I mean, I won't turn the I won't turn the chainsaw on. That, that doesn't make it better. <laughs> It'll just be a blunt <laughs> instrument that I hit him with. So you want to attack me? No, I'm not attacking you. I just it was a joke. Calm down. That's what I thought. I was gonna say because I really was gonna put two barrels up your ass. Just, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you wouldn't live through that. Probably, that's that would have been a nasty hit. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> plus, so, I could hit you twice. Uh, as you tell her about the uh, orb giving you dreams, uh, she pulls out this device and uh, she scans you for a second. She says. Uh, well, you're still clean. You haven't been mutated or corrupted as far as I can tell. Ish. And she puts the device away and she says, uh, I don't have to kill you at least. There's that. Finding new acolytes is a pain. And she says, all right, uh, so, well, here's, here's what we're going to do. Here's your orders. First of all, we need to find out where that Damon host went and a way to kill it because that thing is 
probably right now pretty weak still. It looked like a fairly new host, and it looked like it hadn't fully grown to its maximum power. Secondly, we need to find out what it is doing here, who tried to bring it here, and what for what purpose. And she turns to the guy on the ground, and she pulls out her pistol and puts it in his head and says, Who was this for? Ooh, 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 ooh. Miss S, if you don't mind, I've been dying, absolutely dying, to put my interrogation kit to use. Could I have him for just a moment, if you don't mind? <laughs> she says, fine, but if he... Try not to uh, break his brain so we can at least get information. Damaged goods and all that, I understand. I will do my very best to keep him intact in most ways for you. Alright, so she steps aside, puts her gun away, and she lets you have at it. Alright, I'm gonna whip out my uh, excruciator kit. Okay. While, while this is going on, has, <laughs> have, I, have I noticed anything... All right, uh, Hikari, as you've been uh, <laughs> overwatching this, uh, every now and again you heard that thing roar from underneath, uh, you know, once it went under, and it's definitely getting further away, and uh, you are not hearing it anymore at this point. No one no one has come into the docking bay? Uh, no. Uh, you think that maybe if the shuttle had caught fire that you probably would have gotten a fire brigade, but it didn't. So nobody seems to at least care at this point because nobody's actually summoned for help or nothing. Okay. Hello, Michelle. Well, but, but, but like, eventually, aren't this guy's friends going to come and um, see, if, see if the deal went down? As they well, say. Well, you, you know that uh, he was, uh, he was sent to, uh, basically do this job. You don't know if anybody else is going to show up. That's a very good point. Yeah, that's... My my concern is, are more of the friends gonna, of his group going to come just you, to make sure... You do have a communicator. You could have the people inside ask him. Yeah, why don't you why don't you ask him? Oh. When? Oh, okay. So I'm going to use my uh, excruciator kit okay to question him on the whereabouts of any uh, prying eyes that may be showing up to check on his status okay so do you just roll an interrogation or what I think I do but let me see what the excruciator kit does I'm sure I'm sure it gives you some kind of bonus but yeah it's I'm sure it does searching for the kit. So what's up, Michelle? Punk rocker. How's it going? Seen some people in here I haven't seen for a while. Yeah. That's always good. Good to have you guys back. So gear is... There. Uh... Uh, you know, it's all drugs. same old nerdy stuff with me. Okay. okay, plus 20 bonus to interrogation tests. There you go. That's pretty good. So I get, what is that? That is t -t 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 willpower. Wow. Plus 22. Do you already have like a plus to interrogate or you just have a known? I have, I mean, I have one check mark in it. That means a known, so you don't get a bonus from that, but you don't get a penalty either. So, <laughs> that so, so you get work. So he's just in pain now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, he resists your attempt to get any information out of him, um, but yeah, you did put, you did give him some pain. Okay. I, do I just keep doing this until he answers me? I don't know how the torture works. We're going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't answer again. Guess uh, what? 
<laughs> it, it is getting worse for him, though, as you get closer to making your hit. Uh, he, <laughs> you think that maybe it, you get one more chance before uh, he might pass out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Nope, I killed him. <laughs> he didn't. You did not kill him, but he did pass out. And yeah. uh, the well, the, uh, <laughs> the inquisitor walks up and says, uh, I, "I can't believe that you need you need a little more practice, uh, my acolytes. Uh, well, let I me." Need... Well, hold on. Was I doing that right? Even it seemed right to me. I, uh, I guess so... it is an interrogation. It is interrogation. In... Okay. Can I try and can I try something here? Uh, what are you gonna try? Like what? I'm gonna try intimidation. Well, he's, he's unconscious. Out. All right. <laughs> uh, the inquisitor laughing. actually walks up to him and tries to medically bring him back around. Ooh, um, I do have a Medicaid bot. I could bring him back with smelling salts. Okay. Uh, we'll say that you're able to do that. Uh, he jerks back awake. So uh, if you want to try to. Uh, All right. So I'm gonna walk over to him. Well, hold on. Does he get does he get a negative for being already? Remember, you rolled that fear check. He's already. I have his. That leg. was it. That only lasted for. Oh, that. Oh, um. He's very afraid of you guys, but that doesn't mean he's going to give it up. Uh, I'll give you a plus ten. Ten. Well, then, okay. Okay. So, I'm going to go up to him, kind of kneel down, kind of put my hand on his shoulder, and say. Granted, the fact that I don't really agree with this guy here, I will say this. If you don't start talking, I will do so many horrible f experiments on you. Okay. And I should roll what? Influence? Uh, well, I thought there was a uh, intimidate. That would be intimidate. Yeah. Intimidate, right? Yep. All right. Which my intimidate runs off of my strength? Right. So your intimidate skill... Yeah, so it runs off 10. my strength. So I should roll Intimidate plus 10? Yeah. Well, plus 10 plus your modifier. Mm, I don't think... Well, Just click on Intimidate. It should roll automatically do it all. All right. And then I just got to put plus 10 as my modifier. Yep, it okay. should ask you. Plus, no, okay. Good God. Yeah, your strength is garbage. Maybe we should let the actual Inquisitor handle yeah. this. Awesome. Sounds like a good idea. We'll go <laughs> okay. uh, she says, uh, good effort, guys. And she just walks up and grabs him by the throat. And... Rip. Wow. All right, so before he passes out again, I get a 32 <laughs> bonus target modifier Jeez. to this. Now, because he's, one, afraid of me, and two, plus 20 from the thing. So I'm going to try one last time. How did she have such a low target? She has three checkboxes in Intimidate. Plus 10, plus 10, plus 10, but you didn't add any modifier. Power. It should automatically add the checkboxes. It does. It did. So you rolled a negative 20 somehow. So negative 20 plus 10 plus... Wait, negative 20 plus 20. Wait a minute. How does that make sense? <laughs> what? Yeah. See, all that's weird. You rolled a 5... Minus 20, plus 20, plus 10, plus 10. What the hell? All right, plus I'm going to do this zero. manually. Um, yeah. So she should have a bonus, plus... Your 30 bonus, plus your 20. target. She has a plus 20. So she's going to roll... Oh, right, okay. The cat just walked in front of me. Hold on a second. Um, <laughs> interrogation is the willpower, so we're going to roll willpower, uh, plus 20... That's more like no, but sure. Okay, that worked. I'll have to look into why it's acting that like that. That target's but really low, though. Super low. That should not be that low when really she has really three checkboxes in interrogation. <laughs> yeah, I did have a cat attack, Michelle. Um, so he finally gives up the ghost, and he uh, says... Out of curiosity. Yeah, I would have I gotten it, too. So he finally gives up the ghost, and he says, uh, all right, the, 
it, it, it was for Hal Brill. See, because I rolled willpower plus my known bonus, which would have been five, plus the 20, plus my willpower bonus, which is two, plus his fear. So that equates to 37 total bonus to my target modifier. Yeah, I'm going to have to which, look into that. If I look at that. yours. Is just five plus twenty. Well, her mine is willpower modifier should be a plus so five. Yeah, yeah pl twenty-two plus thirty-seven. Well, let's. Uh, what was my other roll? Well, let's just. Uh, we did eventually. You guys did eventually get him. So. So twenty-two plus. Whoa. Minus twenty plus twenty. My, it's not. It's not adding those numbers in correctly. Yeah, we're gonna have to look into that. But uh, for now, you got. We did uh, eventually get him to give up the ghost. Uh, he says the person that this uh, shipment was for was named Halbrell. H a l b r e l. H a what? Can you spell that again. H a l b r e l. He says, "I don't, I don't know the guy, but this, he, this was for him. He, he specifically requested that we bring this shipment here, check it, and then immediately leave the shuttle, and he would come and get it." That sounds like. Uh, let's see. So, can we, can we now ask him additional questions? You, yeah, ask away. When is your, when is your, uh, when you, when, when is your leader coming to check on you? Is he coming to check on this at all? No, no, I, I was the only you. one. Oh, he's just trusting you to have accomplished this task all your own. All I was supposed to do was check that the cargo was intact and inform him, and then Halbra would show up and take it. Okay. So he was supposed to come up and pick up the Damon host. I, 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 what, is that what was there? Why the hell would he want a Damon host? Let me ask you this. Your leader has a combat servitor in his office. Yeah. His name is what George One. George One. What are the codes for George One? Oh, holy crap. There's no way he would trust any of us with that. Oh, would he not? Could I, I have could a question. I, Stick my thumb into his leg hole. <laughs> I mean, you could do it. What was your question? I have a question. Um, so, remember back in the in the last thing mm -hmm. when I was uh, praying to the spirits and the machineries down in that place that when we were down there talking to him. Mm -hmm. I want to know if I'm able. I mean, technically, I should be able to still connect to those spirits from a distance. So I'm wondering, I'm, I guess I want to ask this guy. I want to ask him, is his boss back at where we first met him? I mean, I would assume so. I didn't is hear it, anything about moving. Is it possible if I can actually talk to those tech spirits and have them kind of like... Uh, I guess, uh, Jesus, eavesdrop or like look and see if he's there, that kind of thing. What isn't it? A, that's a talent, isn't it? Technical knock. Is, is it? That it? I think it is to access a machine from a distance. On, yeah, you'd have to have some way of, uh, uh, doing that from this distance because you guys aren't anywhere near that and the only technical thing you know of that was in that building was one or two lifts for the cargo right. and your servitor which nope nope technical knock is to unjam a the half action but I and, know that there's a I know there's a thing that allows him to access machinery from a distance okay mm. oh f it's ferric summons 
But it's you summon you summon large metallic objects. Yeah, I don't think you have any way of contacting it from this far. Okay, cool. But uh, yeah, that would that would be like. Okay, so I guess I'll sell. Can we? I'll look at everybody to say, look, can we go after that thing before it does way more damage than these two? Uh, the Inquisitor looks at the guy um, who you guys have been in interrogating. She pulls out her pistol, shoots him in the head. Oh, she no. No, no, no. He had to pay pay. But whatever. I'm not going to argue with the Inquisitor. Uh, she says, let's uh, finish up here. Uh, before we go, at, before we do anything, let's go see what's in that shuttle. Just real fast. I, I, tell you that I guess I can't tell her there's a dead dude. I wouldn't know. Um, she grabs her uh, jammer, I, puts it back in her backpack, and she heads I out say, the door. When you go out the door, I say, watch your step in the cockpit. It's pretty bloody. She nods at you, and uh, do you guys all follow her up? Oh, yeah. I'm taking the guys late with me, I'm though. continuing to watch <laughs> the area because I don't fucking trust anything. Okay. Uh, you guys get to the uh, shuttle, and the back door is blown off, like I said, and as you peer inside... Yeah, I'll go you... with them to the shuttle, yeah. Okay. As you uh, guys peer inside with the Inquisitor, you see uh, a fairly gruesome sight. Uh, what It looks like the... Uh, the... Uh, the room that uh, the Damon host was kept in had a uh, stasis chamber, and it looks like there were about nine guys, got judging from the remains, that were also in this room. Uh, you see the Inquisitor kind of kneel down to one of the ones that is the most intact and uh, examine it, and she uh, stands up. She says, Psychers. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Hey, um, Inquisitor, quick question. Um, who was that Inquisitor that we were supposed to stay away from? Uh, she turns and says, uh, Inquisitor P. Um, do you think that he might have had something to do with this? I don't think he had anything to do with the Daemon host, but as far as the orb, that's possible. I need to look into that more, but the Daemon host takes priority. I totally agree. Is uh, there anything on the ship that's, that, that can be salvageable, taken? Uh, she starts to look around a bit, and she says, uh, Lucius, uh, tap into this ship and see if you can get any information on where it came from, if you right. can, if the computers are even intact, she says. All right, so I guess I'll put have my servo skull plug into it, and I guess I'll roll to see if I can do that. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my... Hmm, should I use security or tech? I'll use security. Um, you can go ahead and add plus 20 because this thing... Because looking at, like, the the travel log isn't very secure. It's it's All a right. basic thing. Alright. Yeah, got that. Alright. I rolled. Um... So, yeah, you're able to tap into uh, the ship's computer. And there is a lot of damage in there, uh, but you're able to uh, see that this thing came from uh, Capix Orbital Station. K-A-P-P-E-X. Uh, All right. Do you know where this orbital station is? Uh, so you tell the Inquisitor, and she says... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm bet if that's where this came from, that probably means that whoever put that on the shuttle used the station as an offloading port. So that's not where it came from. That that kind of makes it a that might be a dead end. But uh, I'll have to inquire a bit more along those lines. Okay, um, so she stands up and she says, "So it looks like these psychers were tasked with keeping this thing." In stasis, I'm betting at least one of them faltered at some point enough that it was able to break out and kill everybody. That makes sense as to what happened here. Um, it's actually kind of lucky for you guys because if it looks like they intended for you to come inspect this, uh, and they probably would have sicked the demon host on you and then just okay. used that to clean you up. Now, my next question is that I want to also go through the manifest of the ship computer and see if I can um, 
as far as like I guess the specs and inventory of the ship. Mm -hmm. So can I do do I need to roll that again? I, I wish there was something like that, Michelle. Um No, I think you rolled good enough. Um so you dig more through this computer and like I said, it's pretty badly damaged. Um you're not able to pull a whole lot out of this shuttle. Um, it wasn't exactly loaded with like information uh, as to what it was carrying mm -hmm. or anything. It just basically had a destination, and that was it. Okay. Um, I kind of want to inspect the ship a little bit more because I'm looking. Basically, I'm looking for anything salvageable. Uh, okay. Maybe a mechanendrite. Um, anything like that. I don't think you'd find that on a shuttle. No, this shuttle pretty much just had the stasis pod, which is smashed, and the people in it. And what about the people? Anything that we can uh, salvage off of them? They are torn to shreds. Okay. All right, so now what do we like to do? Uh, the Inquisitor uh, stands up from inspecting the bodies, and she says, uh, I actually was trying to find a psyker for an acolyte, but I wasn't able to find one. This is kind of why I wanted one. They're very good at tracking these things. And uh, she turns to... Um, uh, let's see here. She turns to Ariac. <laughs> close. <laughs> That's close. It's the closest he's been. I'm going to... Ariac. He has ever been. I'm going to let it slide. <laughs> Ariac, Ari then. Uh, she turns to you and she says, uh, burn it, and she walks out of the shuttle. Alright. I guess we'll walk out. <laughs> roll okay. to burn things. <laughs> roll, roll to burn. I don't need to roll shit. It's a stationary shuttle. I can't... Yeah, I, I'm not going to make oh. you roll for it. <laughs> <laughs> humor us. Just roll the humor. As yeah, that's, that's true. You could humor us with a roll. Alright. As, I'm going to humor yeah, I'm going to humor you. Someone right. says I can't possibly miss. Right. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. All right. right. To hit with this one, it's a, let's see, flame. Okay. Point blank range. Point blank range. Standard, yeah. Uh, modifier, let's say, 100. Because <laughs> it's a fucking shadow. <laughs> uh, no. What is my modifier? Yeah, I don't miss. Even at a 90. <laughs> you still... <laughs> Jeez, oh man, no. How'd you get 108 target? What the fuck? Because my fucking skills are ridiculous. Oh, God. Also, it's a giant fucking unmoving shuttle. And I, didn't I... Even, I didn't even change anything. That's because of point blank range. My weapon right. skill is just that high. So yeah, the shuttle is completely engulfed in flame. You burn up all the bodies in the heresy. And uh, after you do that, you join the others, I assume. And uh, I'll probably say a prayer or two. Okay. Do some bitties, blah, blah, blah. Um, I, I, I walk up next to him like, so uh, you want to go beat yourself over your achievement? <laughs> that doesn't happen until tomorrow. All right. Glad we had a um, conversation. She uh, motions to Hakari to come. The Inquisitor motions to Hakari to come join them, and she's yep. standing at the uh, hole in the ground now. I do that. She says, uh, "Well, uh, you guys up for some hunting? This is a special occasion. I'm gonna light the candles on my shoulder paints. So <laughs> probably the one on my head." <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll pull out both my hand cannons and just and just sit back and just wait. Okay. So uh, before you guys go in, is this where you would like to uh, stop for the day? Uh, yes. Yeah, I gotta stop now. I gotta okay. Go. Yeah, this would be good. This yeah, would be good right. to stop. Go okay. Uh, so we actually have a problem called Christmas coming up so i don't know what your guys' oh, schedule is it a problem <laughs> as far as getting a game in yeah kind of um um so i'm good on the 18th and 19th oh, let me ask you this casey yeah am i having a visitor for the holidays still working that out okay we'll um, figure that if, out guys if it happens 
it'll either be the 22nd or the 23rd. Okay. Well, let me see what... I, I need to I need to double check to make sure that my parents don't have plans. Okay. Twenty second or twenty third. It would be better if it was the twenty third. Right. I will uh Well, honestly, I could probably I could request that Saturday off. If it was the twenty second be fine, they like crash on my couch in a in a drunken stupor. <laughs> yeah. And so, then we could, then you would be sober yeah. enough to drive home. Yeah. So all next week, um, all next week, I actually have to work a double shift. So that's if possible. Oops. I would not like to do it during the week because I kind of have to be asleep by like eight thirty ish, which sure. is ten thirty ish your guys' time. Uh, so I would say either Friday, if anybody's available, Friday, Saturday, or Sundays. Hey, thanks, Trooper. That'd probably be best. Otherwise, we might have to wait till the new year. Well, like I said, for me, evening's always good. Okay. Why don't we, Casey? Why don't we try for the twenty second? How do you feel about that? We'll tr- we can we'll we can try for it, and I think that like even if I'm not there, I should be able to play at least. Okay. 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 So we'll aim for Friday, uh, December twenty second, for the next one. Mm-hmm. And if we need to change it, we will, but that'll be our aim for now. Hey, thanks for the look, Trooper Kegs. I appreciate that, man. All right. Well, uh, guys, that ends today's episode. I told you there would be a lot happening today. Um, I knew that was a fucking motherfucking trap. I knew it was a <laughs> trap when I said we should check this tablet and make sure... I'm glad none of you can see me because the entire time you were... Every time you would go like, I'm not sure about this tablet, I was laughing. I'm pretty sure I was the first one to be suspicious of the tablet. Thank you. I'm pretty much. sure I said Well, it whatever. You guys, you know, I didn't really care. We, I'm pretty sure we were, except for he, he, well, he was never suspicious of the tablet whatsoever. In fact, he denies ever having checked it. I never <sighs> checked that tablet. I'm pretty sure you did. Uh, I, did. I loved it every I, time. I didn't. It was either you or the other guy. Go back and watch the, the VOD, buddy. I absolutely... I I absolutely love that you guys were suspicious, but you kept sending every detail. Right. Right. <laughs> right. That, that's, the, that's, that's the fuckery right there. <laughs> All right, mister, I'm not going to tell anybody about, these, anybody about these weird fucking visions I'm having. Hey, uh, Possibly I becoming a fucking heretic. Hey, I didn't see a reason to tell you shit, especially after I just watched you fucking blow up a house for no apparent reason, only because... Did you, you see me to. get reprimanded for such behavior? Uh, no. It, it, exactly. it came out positive. Wow. It actually helped out. And it helped out so that we can be put into a trap. So way to go there, sport. <laughs> the Alright, guys. Whether or not we wanted it to. I, uh, right. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, oh, I will, sorry. uh, I will, got, I will definitely see you guys uh, next time for your uh, Damon host hunt. I oh, am boy. totally down for that. Um, I want to thank uh, Stonius, Stabsies, and on. How do you say your fucking name? Ongaku <laughs> Sensei. Yeah, Sensei. Yeah, nobody, nobody knows how to say that. Yeah, no one knows how to say that. <laughs> you just so, fucking read it. Jesus so, Christ. We're going to say sensei. thanks for them as always. So you guys can always catch up on the Warhammer Dark Heresy. Uh, we have a great game. Please come through when we do that. I'm not going to end my host. I'm actually going to be doing another stream immediately after this. So, But yeah, thank you guys. Alright, thanks guys. I uh, will see you guys next time. See you yeah, next time. Crazy. Heresy! <laughs> Alright, uh, my viewers. Uh, thank you for coming in today. This is my most popular one so far. That makes me happy every time. Um... Thanks all for stopping in. I hope you enjoyed it. We had some fun. There was a lot happening this time. And this time I wasn't sick. So, you know, I got to actually, like, think. My brain works. That's an improvement. Uh, as I said, the next game we're going to shoot for is on the t- Friday the uh, 22nd? Yeah, 22nd. Uh, so hopefully we will be able to make that. If not, I will post on Twitter when we can. Uh, thanks all, and I will see you next time.